Patrolling the border in the Rio Grande Valley in Texas is done this way, by boat. The river serves as a natural barrier along 227 miles between the U.S. and Mexico. But for some agents, it's not enough. How would a wall affect your everyday operations here? It, it would affect us greatly. Um, so it's, it, it would reduce a large amount of the drug smuggling. It would give agents the time to respond, react, and apprehend, get the appropriate law enforcement resolution to the traffic. And then additionally, it would allow us to do more with less. It appears more wall is on the way. Of the 450 to 500 miles of new fencing the president wants built by the end of next year, more than 100 miles would go up here in the Rio Grande Valley sector. That's a tall order. During the first three years of the Trump administration, only four miles of border wall had been built in Texas, almost all of it replacing existing barriers. We toured a short stretch of new wall in Donna, Texas, with the Rio Grande Valley sector chief. We need to continue to press them on it because this is ultimately going to help us. This is going to be a force multiplier for us. The pace has been slow, yep. though. Do you think that they'll make the deadline? Well, we, we always uh, hope that uh, we can. What is standing in the way of achieving those goals? Well, most of the land the government wants to build the wall on here in Texas is privately owned, and not all landowners are willing to sell. It's a land that my grandmother said, don't, don't ever sell it because this is part of our lives. We first visited the Cavazos family in Mission, Texas in March when the Army Corps of Engineers was surveying their 64-acre farm to build a new wall. The red outline is where they say they want to build a border wall. So no warning and they get this map. One day you get your water bill, your light bill and this letter from the government. Family attorney Efren Olivera says that despite their protests, the government's ability to claim eminent domain limits the Cavazos' options. Unfortunately, the law says that if the government needs private property, they can take it as long as they pay for it. Trump recently tapped son-in-law Jared Kushner to oversee border wall construction. Part of his mission, using eminent domain to seize more private land. This month, the administration filed its first land acquisition case. The offer? Less than $100,000 for about 13 acres of private property. The Cavazos family worries their land could be next. Is there any amount of money where you'd be willing to sell? If you would talk to me, my sister, and my brother, we would say no, because it has nothing to do with money. And we want our land. No amount of money is going to make us happy. We're not rich people. This is our legacy. This is what we fought for. So no, no amount of money is worth anything. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.